Hey boys and girls, Outdoors Jeff here. How's it going? Uh, I wanted to shoot you a quick video. Um, sorry for the shaking around here. I don't have a tripod set up. Uh, can't find it. Kids lost it. <laughs> um, wanted to shoot you a video here quick on a... Uh, something to do with some hot peppers here. Of course, what else would I be posting about, right? Um, from the good folks over at uh, Sherwood Seeds. Great company. Check them out. I used countless seeds from them last uh season 100 percent germination on all of them all the strains uh, incredible incredible quality great customer service fast shipping don't play games with these overseas people that i i've done in the past and it takes three months to get your seeds and you know only a quarter of them germinate so uh this is a good company sherwood seeds sherwoodseeds.com go check them out but I was really excited for this pepper, and I wanted to show you folks, uh, <clears throat> this will be coming this season uh, in, the, in this next hot pepper project once I get everything going. And I'm really excited that I was able to get my hands on these. These were a very limited number. They're, they're a sought-after seed right now. Uh, almost impossible to get. And so, some of the biggest names in the, uh, you know, the... The chili head, if you, as you call them, <laughs> industry. Uh, we're not even able to get their hands on these. Uh, so I say I feel very grateful. This is the uh, the Dragon's Breath Pepper. Uh, give you a little, uh, little history on that, what the Dragon's Breath is. If you're all familiar with a Carolina Reaper, well, this is the Carolina Reaper's uh, bigger, meaner brother. Uh... I know that's hard to believe. <laughs> the, uh, the the hottest of reapers rank in around at the top end. If you have some insane ones, like great genetics, you, you, you're ranking around 2 million uh, SHU, which if you're not familiar with that, is Scoville heat units. That's how they measure the capsaicin level in hot peppers. Uh, these dragon's breath rolling around on average on an average pepper not the high end they roll on about two and a half million scoville heat units that's insane and to give you the difference in heat five hundred thousand. that's about a habanero which is a spicy pepper so you've already got that kind of difference between the top end of a reaper that's the hottest reapers you can find and the average of one of these so that that's quite a difference in, in, in capsaicin, believe me. And to give you a little history on that too, it was originally developed in, over in um, Nottingham, I believe, overseas. For uh, it was between a cultivator and, and this, this company who wanted to design the pepper not for food but for uh, an anesthetic use, uh, like, like 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 an ointment type painkiller, um, you know. Like, that capsaicin C stuff people use, like, you know, on your joints when you got aches and pains. So that's what it was designed for. And this other guy out of Wales, I, I forgive you, I don't know the names. I didn't write it all down. Uh, this is just a story I read. But this other cultivator out of Wales took it and ran with it. And he created uh, a, a pepper. Not not for medical use or, you know, painkiller use, but, but to eat. Created a, a beautiful looking plant. They look very much like a Carolina Reaper, and they are uh, a lot hotter. <laughs> I'm, I'm very excited. I'm scared and excited at the same time to try these. Um, it, it's it's going to be a, a, an adventure, that's for sure. But I look forward to growing them and showing you folks, and uh, uh, that's going to be a scary one, like I said. Uh, pretty soon, um, let's see, we get past Christmas and the holidays here, I'm going to start the germination process and probably mid-March and then the grow tent comes up and, and while we're talking about that I want to use that keyword right there uh grow tent and why well all you people posting on YouTube your peppers you're growing I, I love it even Instagram everybody doing that stuff I love it keep doing it but keep an eye out for something and this happened to me recently uh I received an email the other day saying from YouTube saying, well, uh, 
one of your videos has been age restricted and you violated our terms of service, blah, blah, blah. We put a strike against your car. And I'm sitting there going, what? What are you, what are you talking like, about? What, what video did I, did I violate something with? Right? So I went and looked at the video in question and uh, much to my surprise, I was thinking it was one of the videos from one of my firearms or knives or something. <clears throat> nope. It was the video of me showing you folks my Vivo Sun grow tent with the Vivo Sun fan, oscillating fan that I hooked up inside the grow tent for my hot peppers. And I'm sitting there dumbfounded. Like, like what? How did this get age restricted? Like, like what? Well, here's, here's, here's the bottom line what happened, okay? YouTube ran a massive search on keywords. One of those keywords, grow tent. And if you had grow, the word grow tent in your video, you probably more than likely got uh, demonized. You, you literally, There's no other way to put that. You got demonized. You got put on the, uh, the red flag list. And they automatically associated you by keyword grow tent with a marijuana grower and a pothead, basically. I don't smoke pot myself. I have no problems with it. I don't care who does. I don't care who grows marijuana. Whatever. I, it should not be illegal. I, in my opinion, it's a plant. But don't associate me. And I, this, is an, this is an open message to YouTube at this point. Do not associate me for having a grow tent with hot peppers in it, showing people how to hook up a fan to promote strength in their plants and hot pepper plants and demonize my video. Okay, I'm, I'm not going to sit here and bash YouTube. I, I, I did enough of that with my reply to them on, the, uh, on that email. But, which I have not heard back from them. It's been about a week now. I, I have not heard back from them. So that this, is, this is the level they're playing at right now. Um, but be careful, is my point. You got videos up there showing grow tents and stuff. Be careful. Keep an eye on your emails. You know, don't, don't be afraid to use the word grow tent. Don't just keep an eye. Some people don't check their emails. They don't even know this stuff is getting slapped like that. Or they're, they're getting penalties against their accounts. Keep an eye on it. Because this is the kind of crap YouTube is pulling. And this is the kind of crap we got to deal with in this society today. Where we, 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 we live in a society now of uh, act first, ask questions later. Which is complete BS as far as I'm concerned. Had you, anybody at YouTube taken 20 seconds to look at my video, you would have saw I was growing hot peppers, and it wouldn't have been an issue. But nobody did that. You saw the keyword and axed me. So that's fine. That's fine. You want to play the game, play the games. But keep an eye on that stuff, people, because I know I'm not the only person they're doing that to. And there's going to be other keywords for other things. that They don't want kids to see. And I'm sorry, a grow tent with hot peppers and a fan, there's nothing there that an underage person shouldn't see. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> uh, keep an eye on that stuff. Look out for it. And be prepared to battle them. Because remember, it's not, it's not YouTube that keeps us afloat. It's us that keeps YouTube afloat, okay? Without the people, without the videos, there would be no YouTube, okay? And they, and they know that. And they know that. Okay, that's not a surprise to them. That That's not new news. If everybody said, screw you in your terms of service, we're finding another platform to go operate on, guess what? There's no more YouTube. So, And they know that. So be prepared to push back if you have to over nonsense like that. Don't let them get to you. But with that said, I hope happy holidays to everybody. Uh, personally, I can't wait for them to be over. <laughs> <laughs> that means that's as faster I get to growing seeds, getting my grow tent up. Because as you can see, there's a Christmas tree where my grow tent should be right now. So <laughs> too early to start, though. I can't start yet. But uh, March, definitely. Mid-March, we're going to have a bunch of seeds going. I'll do a follow-up video. I'm going to show you guys everything. Because uh, I did slack on a lot of that last year. Uh, I got so busy roped up into things with work and, and, and the Pepper Project itself. I didn't do a lot of videos, and I missed a lot of steps, and people kept asking me, well, what'd you do with this? How'd you do that? And I'm like, all right, I promise I'm going to try to do a better job this year, show you more steps, you know, the germination, uh, the different strains, um, <clears throat> pruning the plants, the feeds, everything. I'm going to try to do a much better video, keep you up to date when the stuff's outside, so you can all see what's going on, how it's looking, 
And hopefully some of my tips and tricks or whatever that helps people start now doing this. Because again, I'm not here for the for the novice. I, I'm here for the uh, for the new guy who says, "Hey, you know what? I really like hot peppers, but I never grew them. And uh, how do I do this?" That's what all my videos are for. People starting out learning stuff. I, I should I should change this channel name to either something with hot peppers or uh, you know outdoors for dummies. I, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not I'm not here. If you if you're a gardener and you know you've been growing hot peppers for years, you don't need my video. You know what you're doing. But uh that's how I learned. I love everybody's videos that do this stuff. Keep up the great work, everybody, and uh we'll see you soon. And if I don't get any more videos in before March on any outdoors related stuff, I hope to. We're kind of pretty deep in snow out here right now, and I don't, I don't even want to step foot outside, to be honest with you. Um, but we'll definitely be back in March, and we'll be planting a lot of seeds, and I'm sure I'll have my little helper, my uh, my six-year-old daughter, who could survive on her own if she had to and plant a garden. So <laughs> very proud of her. All right, we'll see you folks soon, and uh, happy holidays again. Happy planting. If you're starting some people around the country and uh, starting now, I see a lot of people I follow are, are getting plants going now, popping seeds. Good. Awesome. Keep doing it because you never know when food's going to run out. Alrighty. Take care, everybody. We'll see you next time.